<clears throat> I am Saint Ignatius of the Church of Emacs. I bless your computer, my child. Emacs started out as a text editor which became a way of life for many users because they could do all their work without ever exiting from Emacs. And ultimately it became a religion when people started the news group alt.religion.emacs. And today we have a great schism between two rival versions of Emacs and we also have saints. Fortunately no gods, instead of gods we adore an editor. To be a member of the Church of Emacs, you must recite the Confession of the Faith. You must say, there is no system but GNU, and Linux is one of its kernels. <laughs> the Church of Emacs has certain advantages compared with some other churches I won't name. For instance, to be a saint in the Church of Emacs does not require celibacy. <laughs> so if you've been searching for a church to be saintly in, you might want to consider ours. But it does require living a life of moral purity. You must exorcise any evil proprietary operating systems that have possessed any of the computers under your control. And then you must install a wholly free operating system. And then only install free software on top of that. If you make this vow and you live by it, then you too will be a saint. And you may eventually have a halo if you can find one because they don't make them anymore. <laughs> Sometimes people ask me whether it is a sin in the Church of Emacs to use the text editor VI. <laughs> it's true that VI, VI, VI is the editor of the beast. <laughs> but using a free version of VI is not a sin, it's a penance. <laughs> and sometimes people ask me if my halo is really an old computer disk. This is no computer disk, this is my halo. But it was a computer disk in a previous life. So, thank you.